That was without a doubt one of the finest examples of bunny snatching I've ever seen. The stress placed on the rope during the bunny snatching was too much. You cast the useless fibers aside. You extract the portable power pellet from the back of the bunny's polyplastoid torso. You plug the mobile power cylinder into the laptop. The structural warpage and the enormous gaping hole indicate a violent end for this corroding battle machine. Okay, you now have the unstable ordnance. Remember, it was your idea. Good luck. A very wise choice. Carefully placing the unstable ordnance back inside the tank, you decide some things are better left alone. You take the jar into custody. Ah, a button. Perhaps I'll give it a press. Data entry 22795. This message is to whomever may be so fortunate as to find it. I am Professor Lloyd, lead designer of the Xenon Supercomputer Project, the ultimate in artificial intelligence. The computer was designed to enhance our lives, but instead ended up being the ruin of us all. We made the mistake of tying it into the most important facets of our existence here on Xenon, including our weather control and defense systems. It seemed like a sound idea at the time, and all proceeded well for about three years. 
It was around then that a deep space salvage operation recovered what appeared to be some sort of antiquated data storage unit contained in a flimsy cardboard box on which the words Leisure Suit Larry were imprinted. On its back was the picture of a not particularly wholesome gentleman, but that's another story. My counterparts exhibited shameful behavior as they tore open the box to get at its contents. I could not understand the commotion it generated. The data was uploaded into the supercomputer for analysis. As a result, a crippling virus spread through the machine like a bad social disease. All control of the computer was lost. All screens went blank. Then these words were displayed by the monitors and uttered by the vocal outputs. Wilco must pay. From that day forth, the possessed computer waged war on the inhabitants of Xenon, using our own weapons against us. Some managed to escape to other planets. Those of us who remained stayed to fight the machines and robots under its control. It was a bloody war. Those of us that were not killed were taken captive and modified. These cyborgs infiltrated the loyal ranks of resistance, rooting out almost all of our hiding places and exposing us to the mechanical menace. Some of these poor souls still wander the streets. As of this recording, we are down to only a handful of rebels. My health is deteriorating rapidly. To make matters worse, I've just learned that the computer has unraveled the mysteries of time travel. I've sent my two best men to attempt to steal this new technology. If you are not a machine, then perhaps they were successful. Please realize, you are Xenon's last hope. The door has shut, and there's no way back. What are you... Nothing happens. Okay. You scoop up the slimy secretion. Better get away now before it scoops you up. seems to be a relatively spacious landing gear compartment. Wonder how cramped it gets in there when the gear is towed. <laughs> 